Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we got an exciting gift to share with all my viewers and this was delivered in this week and it, the delivery was made possible by Pranesh. We waited for some time for this gift to come through, but eventually it arrived. The, these are uh, aprons with our logo. Thank you Pranesh very much for going way out for ordering these for mommy. We will definitely have a link for our viewers if they are interested in getting these type aprons. Here I am with my beautiful apron on and I chose the brightest color because I like the bright red. You can comment and say how I look with my apron. Okay, today I'm gonna make a lovely, beautiful dry fish chutney of which I already cooked my kitchen to go wood. Pranesh will link the kitchen recipe to y'all. Dry fish chutney is very traditional. We used to eat it uh, when we were growing up and it became our favorite. So for my dry fish chutney, I have a 200 gram of dry fish of which I soaked in boiling water for more than an hour and then taken it off, rinsed it well and dried it with the paper towel. I soaked this piece of dry fish because to take much of the salt out because they use a lot of salt to preserve the fish and that's the reason why I had to take much of the salt out of the fish. This dry fish was bought from a local Indian shop, but years back, my mother used to make her own dry fish. After soaking it, I patted it dry with my paper towel, so when I fry, it wouldn't splash about. Yeah, I have five medium-sized tomato grated because I want the chutney to finish off very smooth. And today I am using two tablespoons of tomato sauce to give the chutney a sweet flavor. To the braising, I've got a quarter cup of oil, a medium onions that slice finely, six to eight cloves of small garlic peeled out, and I'm gonna use it whole. And then I have two green chilies that I split in the center, one teaspoon of hardi, one teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of mustard seed, and to go for taste, one teaspoon of salt, but you can taste your chutney when it's done completely because there will still be some salt coming off the dry fish. And now I'm gonna start first by frying out the dry fish. I've got a small frying pan with a quarter cup of oil to fry out my dry fish. I'm going to fry it very crispy to go in with my tomatoes and eventually we don't really use that oil. We throw away the oil because it becomes very salty. Now while my fish is frying, I'm going to start preparing making my chutney and the fish is already smelling so strong but bear in mind Bombay duck used to have a, a stronger smell. I have my pot on, moderate it, I'm going to add in my quarter, 
cup of oil add in my onions and I forgot to make mention about the curry leaf that I'm going to use so I'll allow this to fry in the meantime I'll quickly fetch my curry leaf the onions are done I'm going to add in my curry leaf and then my mustard seed together with my whole garlic and green chilies and give this a good stir give it a few minutes to fry in goes my masalas to fry out a little This masala cook out. And then my grated tomatoes. And then with my grated tomatoes, I add in my salt and allow this to cook out. In the meantime, I keep turning my fish that I am frying. This must get fried very crispy. This is my tomato sauce to give the chutney a little sweetness. And it gives it a brighter color. And now I am going to put in my dry fish to the chutney to allow the chutney to cook in. As you can see, I made it nice and crispy, lovely burnt out. Smelling quite strong though. This is what I'm going to do, start breaking. I am using my fork to break out the dry fish and allow the pieces to get more fried. You can break your dry fish according to how big a piece you like. I will remove this dry fish from its oils and place it into my chutney. I give it a good mix and allow the chutney to cook for a little while with the dry fish before I garnish with the fresh dhania and spring onions. Now the uh, dry fish had been cooked into the chutney and flavored the chutney. I'm just going to add in my garnish. You can see it's very little, I cooked accordingly to our family. You can add in more tomatoes and more dry fish. But just be careful for the use of your salt.
this chutney is ready for serving. Here you go, a lovely traditional dry fish chutney which is served with a lovely hot kichiri. These are the days that gone by where we used to love these types of food. If you still eat these food, give us a thumbs up or comment on it. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy.